Recently, we got some great footwork-related questions. Let's get right down to business and answer them. Eddie wrote and asked, I need help with my footwork when approaching the net. So Eddie, the big mistake that a lot of players make when they're transitioning forward towards the net is they get stuck and all their momentum kind of gets plowed into the court and they're not able to flow smoothly. And so a lot of times when they get a shorter, kind of floating mid-court ball, their footwork will look something like this. They'll try to kind of uh, charge forwards and get their, themselves set and then they hit and their feet kind of get stuck into the courts because they don't have any good way to flow through the point of contact. And that's really key. If you know you're going forwards towards the net, you don't want to get your feet kind of stuck in cement. You want to be able to flow smoothly through so your momentum can help you with the shot. So here's two ways that you can do that. Way number one, if it's a relatively easy ball, I recommend using your outside foot. So if you're a right-handed player, that's gonna be your, your right foot, and you'll load up on your outside leg, and then as you drive up off the court, you'll swing and transfer onto your inside leg, your left leg. So on a little more floating mid-court ball, that'll look like this, moving to the ball, driving, and then continuing forwards towards the net. So if I uh, kind of move through that, and I know I'm moving forwards towards the net, then, it's very easy for me to continue my movement, continue my momentum, and just kind of flow forward through the courts. That's for when the ball's sitting up a little bit higher. If it's a really low ball and you're struggling to get to it, that pattern's a lot tougher to use. So in that circumstance, I'd recommend practicing hitting off your inside foot, your left foot for, for a right-handed player. And what that pattern will look like is as you approach the ball, your last step will be with your inside foot. You'll load that, swing, hop, catch your balance, and then continue forwards. So in real time, if Megan gives me a little bit shorter ball, that'll look like this. And so you're using your inside foot to, to load, come up off the court, and then transition forward. And the goal is to do that as seamlessly as possible so that your momentum continues through the point of contact, and you can just allow your momentum to flow towards the net where you'll go forwards and make a good volley. Chet, what are some drills or exercises for footwork on a deep ball, on the backhand or the forehand? All right, Chet, we're gonna work on a forehand deep ball and it's essentially the same footwork on the backhand side, but I'm gonna show you both so that you can kind of get an idea and a couple drills that will really help you to work on this. There's one big misconception about moving back to the ball. There is the high ball that doesn't really have anything on it and you can move all the way back and the ball comes down and then you can hit the ball back. But if I'm hitting the ball from way back here, I have to hit the ball very high with a lot of margin because I am so far behind the baseline that I put myself a little bit out of position. So a better option is to actually move back off the baseline, but to take the ball as it's coming up before it starts to come back down. So the first step is split step. And then you're gonna drop step on the forehand side with my right foot, I'm right-handed, okay? And you're gonna drop step back, then you're gonna take one big crossover step, then one more step with your dominant right foot, and you're gonna hit off your dominant foot, and then you're gonna come back into the court. And that's the footwork you really wanna use. Now, Kevin's gonna push me back, and I'm gonna do split, drop step, up, and back in. Split, drop step, cross, up and back in, okay? So that's really what you're looking for. The backhand is the exact same thing. We won't, we won't actually hit a ball here, but the backhand's the same thing. You're just gonna do it on the other side. So you're gonna go drop step, cross, step, hit, and back in. Hopefully that'll help you, and if you can have a person that's out there helping you feed and drop feed balls, it will extremely help you to work on this backward footwork. Victor, what is the footwork on the return of serve? Okay, Victor, it's really important for the return of serve that you get used to, especially on a first serve, I'm gonna assume, you get used to using your outside leg. So what we're gonna do is making sure that when we're in the ready position and we split, regardless of how you're in the ready position to get ready to hit the ball, we split and we focus on loading on the outside leg and then hit and then transfer to the inside leg. And this is for the first serve. The reason why this is so important is because when you don't have a lot of time to return the ball, it's really hard to go outside and then step in and then hit the ball. This takes too much time. So the drill we wanna work on is simply going split outside leg because I'm hitting my forehand and then hit and step. 
Okay, you would shadow that a couple times and you have a person serve. So like that, that's a good example of how you can see me really loading. I'm gonna split, load, and even with the ball coming at me, I'm here on my outside leg, I'm hitting and then landing on my uh, other leg. Outside, and that's what you wanna do. So make sure you go out and shadow it a couple times, then drill it. It's really important for you don't have a lot of time to return those fast serves.